I'm waiting for you to say hi. Oh, but, okay, I'll start. Okay, hi. No, I just <laughs> said I'll start. I did start on it. Okay. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> Addicted to sugar? So are we. So in this episode, we challenge ourselves with the 21 day sugar detox. The more we research this, sugar and everything, carbs convert to sugar, it's all just sugar. That means we can't eat candy bars, of course. No added sugars, uh, but that also includes no fruit, no grains. That um, means no bread. No bread. And, and bread means no pizza. That's like 80% of my nutritional intake. Oh, it's not. But it's like, it's 90% of my desire. We have lots of nuts, go-to snacks, uh, stuff for salads, almond flour, grapefruit. We can have one of these a day. Artichoke cards. We got some good food here. From work, I got four dozen eggs from a lady who has chickens. So, oh, don't show her inside her fridge. And a chicken in there that I might cook tomorrow. What are you doing? I'm gonna cook up this uh, breakfast sausage. So in the morning, we just have to warm it up. I don't know how long that'll take, but we'll check it in a bit. Trying to plan ahead, because I'm already worried about failing on this. Do you want to try the make your bed challenge, too? Make your bed? Every morning you make your bed. No, I don't care about that. I'm not doing it to lose weight. The purpose of this is to curb the cravings so moving forward I can have a healthy lifestyle. So the, you write it twice so in case Well, in case you, you miss, miss it. it. <laughs> Boiled, royaled. Oh yeah, it does look like royal. <laughs> you royaled those eggs. Yeah. All right, so today is day one of our sugar fast and it's time to make some breakfast. So let's go see what's going on here. Eggs and sausage. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling this morning? <laughs> well, we haven't been on a fast. I feel like every other morning, I'm just tired. I feel like I'm already doing effort in the morning, but I don't normally do. Well, we're not even used to eating like this, so like I don't even necessarily feel like eggs. Do you feel like eggs? No, I don't. So, thanks for making breakfast today. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful that I still get to do coffee. I just have to get used to it without sugar. Breakfast, day one. This doesn't look too bad at all. You need me to do that? Oh, no. You <laughs> Good job. Where are those? Artichoke cards. So, today was the first day for me. Yes. Before you start, you really need to fix your hair. The people that I work for, um, they are kind of doing a keto diet, and so they brought me down a bulletproof coffee halfway through the day, which is like, a, it's like got unsalted butter in it, and you just kind of blend it together, and something else, I gotta call them and ask them what's all in it. I wanna do that, so I went and got some unsalted butter tonight at the grocery store. What are you up to? Uh, just got the backbone out of the chicken, so I can butterfly it. Only it just cracks, so they're. Well, it's kind of gruesome. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> dinner. Do you want dinner? How's your food? It's good, it's hot. How was your first day? It was fine. It was like really no big deal. I was actually worried about having cravings. So I think I totally overate. Good morning, Crystal. How's day two? It's fine. I already got a roast on this morning. Well, not really on. I mean, in the slow cooker. And it's like, what is it, seven something? 6.30. 6.30. 
6.30 and we're cooking. So I'm trying bulletproof coffee this morning. I got some meat in here and I got some sausage and I'm gonna crack an egg over the top of this thing. Can you crack an egg without uh, I throwing your shell in? I'll try. That'll be a new thing for you. <laughs> Boom! Hey, it actually worked! <laughs> I didn't even like break the yolk. I... Yeah. I Dwight yolked that thing. What? This um, is an egg with a bunch of meat on top. It's called meat egg. It was the best salad I ever had, Han bar, hands down. Whenever Dennis makes something, it's the best ever. Crystal, you said you woke up hungry today? I usually don't like eating in the morning, so the last couple mornings have been difficult for me to wake up and eat like eggs and sausage before I go to work. So when I got home from work last night, I, I really only had a snack. I made a whole pulled pork dinner. No, I didn't eat it, I just put it away. And I woke up this morning <laughs> and I'm hungry. feel like something to eat, but I don't feel like dealing with it. I want a bowl of cereal, I want to go to. Anyways, Dennis has been making this bowl of coffee. I feel a little, like I, I want you something. You feel like, left out. Yeah, I want something like that. I want something like hot to sip on that, and that also is, Satisfying. Why not just have uh, yeah. decaf? Oh, I didn't even think of making decaf coffee. <laughs> so what did you do instead? Robos tea. I'm gonna try and make it with tea. Is what I was thinking. I don't drink caffeine, so I'm trying to find alternatives. At my work, people are always bringing in food, and so there was a table full of like cookies and muffins. And I just I was walking by it, and I subconsciously almost just grabbed something and and went on my way, which is what I would normally do. And I'm kind of worried about being halfway through a chocolate chip muffin and being like, oh shoot. Okay, so I've made bulletproof Robo's tea. See how this is. Huh, pretty good. Tastes like coconut oil. Maybe I should make my tea stronger. I made pulled pork yesterday. Made a sauce out of the renderings. And then I just made a Brussels sprout onion, carrot, slaw. I'm tired today. I don't know if it's related to the diet or not. Pull I got all ready to get in the shower and, and then I just put my pajamas back on. <laughs> I wish I knew if I was just tired or if it was the detox. Okay, for me so far this has been the biggest struggle. Look at the mess. The meal prep constantly as well as cleaning it up <laughs> it's just this is just from lunch <sighs> anyway it's got to clean it up and get ready for dinner so i'm home by myself tonight and i'm just gonna make myself a salad <laughs> supper nice and easy Okay, so it's been 24 hours. I've been making my my bone broth here, and so I just wanted to show you. Steam. There, it looks nice and rich. I'll just wait for it to uh, cool down, and I'll pour it off. Separate it. Looks good. So, today is day five on the 21-day sugar detox. And Crystal is in the background. Say hi. Hi. And she's cooking up some beautiful almond flour crusted chicken and it's gonna be good. And I have to say that I feel like I have a clear mind. Like, like usually when I come home, I'll have a foggy, tired haze over my whole brain. I feel like just mentally sharp. The kind of result that I'm experiencing right now is exciting. It's enough to say, Okay, this is better than eating junk food. Look at that chicken. It's crusting pretty good. Butternut squash and zucchini. 
noodles. Hot sauce. So is this like a chicken parmesan? Yeah. Now, what's parmesan about it? Nothing. So there's no cheese on it? <laughs> Why do you keep saying chicken parmesan? I don't know, because it's like it. It's day five at 10.30 p.m. and I'm be tempted to never put sugar in my body again. But but I, that's a little far-fetched. That's not, not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen, but but I love, I love feeling awake. Good morning, good morning. Doing some pancakes this morning. <laughs> don't be, don't be weird. What do you got here? Pumpkin pancakes. Sweet. What's in them? Um, eggs, pumpkin puree, almond flour, pumpkin spice, cinnamon. And then I made this just coconut milk with vanilla bean and vanilla. That looks mm -hmm. good. I'm bacon. You gotta tell us how it is. Probably would have liked some maple syrup. I mean, there, there's nothing bad or wrong with them. There's just no flavor. Week one, done. Week one. And we just want to give a recap. Say how our week actually went. You so, go first. On day, well, I was going to ask you. Okay. How are you feeling? I feel so good that I would classify myself as sick before I started this. <laughs> That might sound extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds extreme, but I had been living with a perpetual state of tiredness and fogginess in my brain that I just thought was normal, and it's completely gone. I feel like you're being a little dramatic for being a week into something. Like, I mean, I think your claims are a little strong right now. You could just say, you feel, you feel better. No, 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 no. It's way too early to be making those claims. The problem with saying you feel better is that's such a generic response and it doesn't can, actually tell people how I feel. I know, but you're, you're claiming like a life-changing miracle. And no, I'm saying, no, 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 but that's what you sound like. I'm just saying what I feel like on day eight. <laughs> Before I started the detox, I didn't feel like I had anything wrong with me. But since starting the detox, my you feel Mindset like there's been like been a new mental clarity or like a bit of yeah. a fog that's been lifted and... Yes, a major this. fog that's been lifted. Can, can I say that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you feel on day eight? Day three was really hard, total crash. And four, like I felt good mentally, but I felt like my body was like moving slow. Like it was mm -hmm. effort. Then day five, I'm like, oh, I feel good. And then day six, I'm just like, down. Now today, I would say, I do feel really good today. And I think I feel better than I normally feel after doing night shifts. Usually after your night shifts, if you do two night shifts in a row, the next week is pretty much a write off. And yeah. you seem like you had pretty good energy today. Yeah, I have really hard recovery after night shifts. Mm -hmm. um, but. I feel pretty good today, actually. So yeah. we'll, it, we'll see in the next few days, we'll really tell. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and give a like. In part two, we complete the 21 day detox and give an update on whether we are still sugar-free.